The Cayman is one of the most perfectly balanced, addictively tactile cars in the world. Heavy control from the steering to the gear change offers tingling feedback. The only better way to feel the road will be to rub your face on it. So surely, swapping this stick for some buttons from a child's Game Boy won't make it better and faster, it'll make it artificial and slow. First, some reacquaintance with a manual car. A manual Cayman costs 36 grand, for which you'll get a 2.9 litre, 265 brake horsepower engine and a 0 to 62 time of 5.8 seconds. Now, changing gear. It's part of the pleasure of driving a car. It's, you know, one of the ways you interact with it. You can make a difference to the balance, the feel. That's a nice thing to do. This is a proper driver's car. It's so beautifully weighted, balanced. It's got tons of grip. I defy anyone not to love these cars. But we've got to find out what's the best. So, time for a quick one. Start the clock. <laughs> Little dab on the brakes and in. Such composure, this poor chef's got. The gear change is beautiful. This shift is smooth, silky, but with a good positive plonk. Ah, oh, it just slides in. With me swapping cogs manually, the Cayman finishes in 42.7 seconds. Time to check out this newfangled PDK gearbox. So, the Porsche PDK. What it basically is, is a double clutch gearbox. The next gear in line is already pre-selected. So if you're in second gear and you're looking for third, it's already engaged and the clutch just clicks across. The PDK gearbox adds nearly two grand to the Cayman's price and 30 kilograms to its weight. But Porsche claim it's a tenth of a second quicker to 62 than the manual. The downside is um, you're not really in control. You know, the gearbox will only go down when it wants to. And Porsche, in their wisdom, have decided to not have flappy paddles, which, you know, I know how to work. You pull the right hand to go up, you pull the left hand to go down. What they've done is they put buttons on the steering wheel and they've got them around the wrong way. So you actually push to go up a gear and you pull to go down a gear. Well, I keep making uh, mistakes and it's a bit infuriating. I could use the manual gearbox, of course. But uh, Kel Surprise, that's around the wrong way as well. Come on, let's get on with driving it. But is it actually faster on the track? Let's settle this with a quick one. <laughs> Think about it. Uh, pull to go down. Push to go up. Oh, man! I don't like it. At the first checkpoint, the PDK is trailing by two tenths of a second. Oh, no, no way. At the second checkpoint, it slipped back to three tenths. Ah, oh, come on, we're going to stop. Let me get back in the manual. The PDK finishes in a time of 43.2 seconds. That's half a second slower than the manual. The PDK may be quicker on paper, but on our test track, the good old-fashioned manual won the day. Porsche double clunk and clank and flank and it's a sack of spurs.